Hello, this is Jackson. Welcome to the Quantum Video Blog. This time we use the Quantum Web Wallet with NFTs. We will set the wallet to Quantum Testnet, get some free testnet coins, then mint some NFTs and send them. First, launch the wallet in the browser. We're using Google Chrome here on a PC. I've got a shortcut set up for the web wallet, which is at quantumwallet.org. Start out reading through these warnings here, which basically says protect your private keys, passwords. Then we want to set the wallet to work on Quantum Testnet, which is a separate blockchain for testing. So we'll go to Network and set it to Testnet here. Confirm that. Now you see in the upper left hand corner it says Quantum Testnet, so that's good. From this point, we can generate a new wallet and get a uh, testnet address. We'll enter a password. Confirm that. And then you can click on this green banner here to back up the wallet. And this is going to download an encrypted key file. Uh, you can see it there. On Windows, it goes into the uh, Downloads folder has a date stamp on it here to help you keep track of them if you have more than one. And later we'll transfer that to a USB thumb drive and store it safely somewhere. That will be our wallet backup. If you restore from that key file, make sure to set the wallet to be on testnet again before you load the key file and enter the password. Otherwise, it won't take the password because the password is set for uh, the wallet address on testnet. Speaking of testnet, now we can go to the testnet faucet and get some free testnet coins. So we'll copy the address of the wallet here. Open up a new tab. I've got another shortcut to the faucet, which is at testnet-faucet.quantum.info. We'll paste our wallet address and uh, click on the blue check mark off on the right hand side here. And this message says that we're in the queue. We'll receive some testnet coins in a minute or two. We can go back to the web wallet here. And you update the web wallet by clicking back and forth between the view wallet transactions and view wallet info. That's how it can do an update. So here we see the faucet is going to send us 96 testnet quantum, which is good. Uh, if we click back to view wallet info, there they are. Um, it says unconfirmed balance. These haven't published in a block yet, but uh, they will shortly. So let's move ahead and create some NFTs. And these are the images that I'll be using. They are super trees from Garden on the Bay in Singapore. Various uh, photos of the super trees at, at daytime and nighttime. So we're going to go back to the uh, left hand menu here, scroll down to create NFT. And we'll fill in this create NFT page. Click on the plus symbol there and find the NFT file, source file that you want to use. And we'll use number one here. That'll be our first super tree NFT. We'll call it SuperTree1. We'll give it SuperTree1 as a name. And the description is um, it's in the daytime with uh, a blue sky, if I can type that in. And we'll make 10 of these. We could make 1 through 10. Uh, we'll leave gas price, gas limit, and fee set to these defaults. That will work well. When everything is ready, click Confirm. It sends the transaction to mint the NFT. We could follow this blue link here and see the transaction on the Explorer, but it may be a little easier to just watch it go through on the wallet here. And again, we'll go back and forth between, uh, where is it? View wallet transactions and view wallet info. So this is our transaction that we just did. It says mined at invalid date because it hasn't been mined or published in a block yet. So we're waiting for that. Could be a few tens of seconds. Let me clear that out. Go to View Wallet Info. Oh, and there it is. Okay, 
So that's our first NFT, NFT called Super Tree One. And there's a little blue circle in the upper right hand corner that says the wallet has 10 of these, which is what we did. Well, that's pretty easy, let's make another one. Follow the same pattern, we'll pick uh, image number two here. The name will be Super Tree Two. And this is also in the daytime. And um, there's a green trunk. And we'll make 10 of these as well. Leave the gas and fee set the same. Confirm that. We see the green bar at the bottom. Transaction was successfully sent. If we look at the transactions here, same thing, invalid, so it's waiting to publish in the next block. We can go back, back to uh, View Wallet Info and see, oh, there it is, okay. So we've got uh, two of them now. The last thing I want to demonstrate is how to send an NFT. And this is pretty easy as well. We'll just pick the blue send button under each NFT that we want to send. You fill in the address here. I'm using another testnet wallet address. And uh, we'll send them two of these NFTs. You can't send fractional parts, just like one to 10. We'll confirm that. Same thing we saw before, a successful transaction. And uh, let's look at the transaction here in the wallet. Scroll up at the top. Oh, this one's mined already. Okay, so it's, it's already published in a block. And in fact, if we go back and look here, we've only got eight of these left now. So that's it. I'll wrap up with some references. Um, the text version of the blog of this video is available at quantum.team slash making NFTs. It has the blog written out, uh, all the steps written out in the blog, and more details along with reference links to the ERC-1155 spec and the Open Zeppelin smart contract that was used. Um, and then the, the uh, other reference here is for the, the manual for the Quantum Web Wallet. And uh, you can look that up. It gives more information about the um, other capabilities of the Web Wallet. Thanks for watching.